Hi, my name is Jason Halliker. I'm from the Virginia Department of Game and Inland Fisheries. And today I'm going to show you how to build one of these egg baskets for your trout tanks. One of the big problems with the egg baskets we have currently, uh, first we have the net basket. The eggs can become too crowded and fungus can spread throughout the basket easily. It's also hard to get a lot of the dead eggs out. The second type are the paper trays, which work really well for spreading the eggs out but eventually the alvins hatch out of the eggs and they begin to swim out of the basket. They can get sucked up into pumps. Um, once they absorb the egg sacs, they have trouble getting to food. This egg basket solves all those problems by allowing the eggs to spread out along the bottom and the alvins actually stay inside the basket so you can feed the fish once they swim up and all the fish have a better time of getting to the food. So today I'm gonna show you how to build one of these. Alright, on the table in front of me is the list of materials that you'll need to complete this assignment. Um, this egg basket here is just a general basket I found at Walmart. It's like two dollars. It's really cheap. Um, that's what I use. Uh, just make sure that it fits the dimensions of your, of your tank. Um, the most important thing you'll need for this is the clear silicone. And when you buy silicone, you have to make sure that it's aquarium safe because a lot of silicone can be toxic to fish. So. Make sure you get the aquarium safe silicone. Uh, you also need some screen, just from a general hardware store, and a hanger that we'll cut up later to use to hang the basket. And then, these are the tools I use to create this basket. You don't have to use these tools by any means, but this is, what I'll, this is how I'll show you how to make the basket today with, with these items. All right, the first step in, in this uh, basket making is to cut out the bottom of the basket. It's important to have holes in the bottom so the eggs have plenty of water and oxygen getting to them. So what I do is just uh, measure roughly about a half inch out from the edge. our uh, marks for the, the cross that we're actually going to leave on the bottom. The finished product will look just like this with the plastic cross in the middle like so. Now that we've made our cut lines, um, I use this Dremel tool to cut out the windows in the bottom of the basket. Uh, this bit is kind of an all-purpose cutting bit and the one thing you have to make sure that you get is just kind of a, a bit that will cut plastic because any other type of wood bit or something like that will get really bound up with the, uh, the, the melting plastic once you cut through. So just cut along the outside line here. Once you cut out the window, just pop it out carefully and repeat this step on the last three windows. Put the screen on top. Just trace around the edges. Now that we've traced the screen, we have to cut it out so we can fit it to the bottom of the basket.
Two, seven. Alright, you gotta take a ruler and measure to find the middle of the clothes hanger. Which is roughly about eight inches. And cut it right there. And then cut it up around these edges right here so it makes a hook. the hanging apparatus you need to first kind of guesstimate two inches up and bend so you can then stick it through the side of the hole that you just made and then connect and then you have a hook like that and you just need to do that for every single one step is we're going to add aquarium safe silicone on the inside cross of the basket. After you put the silicone in the bottom, you place the mesh in the bottom and push down the edge. Now that we've placed the bottom screen, we need to place the side screens. get into your tank and to do this you use the hangers that we put on the sides of the tank earlier and hang it on the side of your fish tank like so now this is a 75 gallon tank it's a little bigger than most of the trout in the classroom tanks but you can elongate the wire if you need to um, or use a bigger piece of hanger for the set for the 75 gallon tanks the 55 gallon tanks will be a nice tight fit but you want to hang the basket just below the lip of the aquarium and fill your aquarium up to around this level so the water only comes up to the you know a half inch of the basket here so the fish you know so the water doesn't come over top of the basket and the fish get out so if you use this type of setup you should have a pretty successful year in trout in the classroom keeping the fish fed keeping the fish safe from the pump inside of this basket good luck Yo, I have a this was an for... awesome project formed by the um, Ag Biology crew. Me, Jeff, edited, edited what? it, and um, what? I well, hope you enjoy. <laughs> it's still recording. <laughs> <laughs> but how do you stop?